Let's take a look at the settings of the tool together. Hold down L1 to access the device menu. Once inside the menu, simply follow the instructions displayed. In this case, Tori add the collected data, press the S2 button. To delete the collected data, press the S1 button. To set up the device, press the plus button. To exit, press the L1 button. So, to set up the device, press plus. At this point, we can press the plus and buttons to make changes, the S2 button to continue, and the menu button to exit. Let's press plus or to change the language, in this case. We can set the language to Italian, French, or English. Let's set the language to English and press the S2 button to continue. We can change the temperature unit of measurement, choosing between Celsius or Fahrenheit. We can change the stopwatch mode, choosing between incremental or absolute. We can choose whether or not to activate the backlight of the device. We can adjust the contrast. We can set the time format, choosing between 12H or 24H. We can change the date, using the plus and buttons to make changes and the S2 button to continue. Finally, we can follow the same procedure to set the time. To turn off the device, you need to hold down the menu button for a few seconds. Let's see now how to time the drivers. By pressing the menu button, the device turns on. On this screen, we have the L1, L2, L3, and L4 buttons, which correspond to the four drivers we can time. Also, at the top, we have the time and air temperature. By pressing the L1 button, the lap time of the first driver starts, and we can also take the relative split times by pressing the S1 button. With the L2 button, the lap time of the second driver starts, again with the relative split times, always pressing the S2 button. By pressing the L3 button, the lap time of the third driver starts, with the relative split times by pressing the S3 button. Up to 8 split times can be timed, with the ninth split time calculated at the passage on the finish line. Timing up to 3 drivers, we also have the best lap of the first and second driver. If we also start the lap time of the fourth driver, we have the lap time of all four drivers with their respective split times. We can time several laps for each driver, up to a maximum of 99 laps. How to review lap times of the drivers. Press and hold the menu button, then press the S2 button, and you'll see the summary of the first session with the date, time, and air temperature. If you want to see the laps of driver 1, press the L1 button, and you'll have the three best laps of driver 1. To see the intermediate times, press the S1 button. By pressing L2, you'll see the three best laps of driver 2. The same goes for the L3 and L4 buttons. If you want to see all of the laps of driver 1, press L1 again, and you'll have all the laps. The same goes for driver 2, driver 3, and driver 4.
By pressing and holding the menu button, you'll return to the starting point, and you can start the second session. You can store up to seven complete sessions. If you hold down the menu button, the device will turn off. Otherwise, it will turn off automatically after five minutes of inactivity. Let's look at some advanced features together. Turn on the device. Let's say that in session two, we are timing four drivers with their respective lap times. If we want to clear the times of driver three, we need to hold down the S3 button so that we can take the times of another driver. The same procedure applies to all the other drivers still in the display. For driver one, press the S1 button. For driver two, press the S2 button. For driver four, press the S4 button. Let's see how to delete all the previously recorded data. Simply press the S1 button. This way, we have deleted all the lap times of the various drivers from the seven sessions.